Good morning, welcome to Year 4 Spelling. What we're looking to try and do while you're not all at school is try and introduce you a set of spelling words every week, just as we would do if you were at school. Um, we will try and focus on the theme for the spellings for that week and also give you a few activities that you might be able to take part in um, at home and try and get somebody to test you on those words. So to begin with this week, we're going to be looking um, at prefixes. OK, so um, in fact, the focus for this half term to begin with will be prefixes. Firstly, I want you to discuss to discuss with an adult what a prefix is. Um, pause the video while you talk, press a play again when you are ready to carry on. OK, so a prefix is something that we add to the beginning of a word. Usually it means that we create another word that generally has a different meaning. For example, the, the, example, the example I'm using here is important. And when we add the prefix unto it, it changes the meaning of the word totally. So it goes from being vital to being not important, not vital at all. So you can see how important prefixes can be. This week, we're going to be looking at the prefix inter. OK, now this prefix means to be able to go between something or in amongst something. So, for example, um, one of the words we're going to be looking at this week is international. OK, and that would mean being able to go from country to country. An international flight will take you from one country to another. So it means to be able to to go between or to be among. Now, I've given you one word that was international, but can you think of any other words that might have inter at the beginning? We're going to give you a five minute challenge. Can you and your adult think of as many inter words as possible in the time that you've got? Press pause while you complete your challenge and then press play to resume. OK, so hopefully you've managed to come up with quite a few inter words. Um, and what we will do during the course of the week is make sure you don't lose those because we're going to be trying to get you to put some of these words into sentences. For now, though, these are your spelling words for this week. Um, what I want you to check now with your adult, did you have any of these words? Did you find any different ones? Why don't you check your list now and also have a look at the list of words on the screen? Press pause while you do this and play when you're ready to go again. OK, so spelling tasks that we would like you to complete this week. Um, we want you to complete the look, cover, write check um, that we would normally send out for homework. We've attached that to the Year 4 web page, um, or alternatively, if you haven't got access to a printer, you could just write the words out and practice them. Second one is to, what we want you to do in the book that we've given you, is to, for you to practice writing sentences that use the spelling words um, and put them into context. So what we want you to do is to not just um, be able to spell the words, but also put them into the right um, the right meaning so that when you when you write the sentence it's clear that you understand what those words mean and finally we've also attached the usual weekly word search that you always normally enjoy doing and we've attached that to the web page feel free to have a go at that one if you want to